In this video, I would like to show you how we can use the TI-30XS MultiView to enter statistical data and perform statistical calculations. This is a nice calculator that will give us a two-line display window. Now to use this calculator, we must go into the stat menu, which you see here where you see the second, second button, and then the stat button. So I'm going to hit second stat. And the calculator says, do I want one variable or do I want two variable? We want one variable stat, so I will hit enter here at the bottom. It's a little tricky holding the iPhone in one hand, the calculator in the other. I'll hit enter. So now I have to tell it the data. Now, see, look at my choices. So I can enter my data. I'm trying to give you the best light on this. Hold on. So I can enter my data, and I have three column choices. Now, see, the arrow buttons are here. So I have a choice where I'd like to put my data. So L1 is good. Now it says, what about frequency? Well, we'll just use a frequency of one. So I came over here and I hit the down arrow left to one. I'll hit enter. So now I have to give it data. So I type data. And you see here are the three columns. And all I have to do now is enter these test grades. So I've got 78, 78, I think I can just hit enter. Yep, and see how that put the 78 in the window here. And now I'm going to hit the others. So I've got 84. And I could also just hit the down arrow, 96, Got 87, 93, 79, 92, and 81. I've entered my 10 numbers. As you see, it's waiting to receive number 11. And now I'm going to go back second stat I have one variable stat and it's highlighted so I will hit enter and I'm going to hit my arrow key to calculate and I will hit enter here's my information we have 10 numbers mean is 84.2 sample standard deviation 11.272 Population 10.69, sigma x, and sigma x squared. Notice, here are my five number summary. Minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum. And then it repeats that data. Really nice calculator, lots of information. Now, I am allowed, if I come back, you see, to data... I do have three columns of data before I have to erase. Now, let's suppose I had group data. Let's suppose I had frequencies. I'm going to put the frequencies in column two. Now, I'm just going to make up numbers. Let's say there's two of those and three of those and one of those, 194. I'm just making these numbers up. 158, we say thank God for that. 
387s, we'll say 293s, 279s, 192, and we'll say 281s. Well, what I've done, folks, I've put the raw data in the first column and the frequencies in the second column. Now I'd like to analyze grouped data. So I click on, I'm trying to hold things, two things in two hands here. So I'm going to hit second and stat. I'm still doing one variable stat. I hit enter. But this time I'm using frequencies. And my frequency is in column two. So down arrow to the frequency line, come over to two, hit enter. And I hit enter again. So now I have 18 numbers because of the frequencies. All the other information is here. The mean, the sample standard deviation, the population standard deviation, the sum of the x's and x squareds, and my five number summary. Again, this is a really nice calculator. It's less than $20 if you like it. It gives you a lot of good information. Now the only thing about this calculator is that once I've used up those three columns of data, I'm done. So I'm going to come back here to data and I'm just going to find my delete key and repeatedly hit delete. I'll come over here to column two and again repeatedly hit delete and I'm good to go and ready to enter a new set of data. That's how we use the TI-30XS.